But I think their feelings will be rather mixed. Uh, of course, they'll be pleased to know that their, their goods will still have the, the same free access to the British market as they have in the past. On the other hand, uh, a lot of them, I think, will uh, begin to realize that the, some of the deals we made for them in Brussels were pretty advantageous and we'll be sorry to be losing them. For, for example, the, the uh, very favorable prospects for India and Pakistan of a, uh, a, a trade agreement, the arrangement we made for Ceylon for uh, free entry for her tea, things like that, we, it will be, uh, I'm afraid will be lost and will be serious losses to some of these countries. Several people have called for some sort of Commonwealth Economic Conference. Do you think that's the next step? Well, the next step is to do what we always do do, and that is that uh, when new situations arise, uh, we, we immediately consult with all Commonwealth governments. We're in the process of doing that at, at the moment. We shall exchange views. But uh, don't let us imagine that there's any magic Commonwealth alternative. If there had been, we, we would have uh, gone in for that long ago. Do you think some Commonwealth leaders might think we're going back to them as a sort of second best after Europe? There's no question of second best. We've been trying to develop and we shall continue to try and develop and expand our trade with the, with the Commonwealth as, as before. Uh, this isn't a question of uh, alternatives, or first best or second best. We've discussed all this situation and the problem very fully with them at meeting only, only a, few, a few months ago, last September, here in London. Thank you very much. Thank you.